Hey guys. Hello. Whiskers working hard here. We're trying to transfer the picture of uh, what we drew on the Art Deco robot uh, paper here to the copper. And uh, to do that, use a trick I learned in elementary school, which was just to heavily shade the lines and then put this down on the copper and then pretty much go over and then all of the graphite would transfer onto the copper board and it, it wasn't like very clear but you could see enough just to be able to trace it out once you got onto the board give me enough to start putting real lines on here yep now can I ask why you're wearing gloves? So I don't get any oils from my hands on the copper. Oh, okay. I stripped all the oils off the copper with um, mineral spirits before I started transferring this. Okay. And we're using the graphite as a sort of mask. Because we're going to be using some uh, solution to oxidize the copper. Mm-hmm and we want to keep the lines in place when it's oxidized so um, it's kind of uh, in order to have the copper not fully oxidized everywhere we're going to draw in the lines with the graphite first and then start the oxidation process and what's the solution? Muriatic acid, salt, and water is what we're going to try first. Okay. So there, that's all transferred over. Now we're going to mix up some stuff and spray it. Ooh, the camera doesn't like this. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. All right. All right, Whisker. What do we got? Got dial indicators. Cool. One through eleven. Excellent. And I got uh, the lines all darkened in and finished off. Excellent. And yep. uh, the mark for the where the centerpiece will go for the, the jack. Okay. And now I guess we're going to have to oxidize the copper now. Dun dun dun! Okay, so we're in the mudroom here and I'm going to spray this with a mildly um, corrosive liquid. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very mild. If you do it too much, it's just going to eat the copper away. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to do that. We actually want the copper to bind with oxygen, but faster than it does naturally. I want to keep it in a moisture-rich environment, high humidity. Mm -hmm. So after I spray it, it's going in the bag. Okay. Okay. Bring this in. And we're hoping that the graphite acts as a bit of a mask. mask. Okay, so that's on there, and I'm going to toss this into the bag, and we'll check on it in a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we're checking this about, after about, I don't know, an hour and a half, right? About, mm, two hours since we sprayed it the first time. Yeah. And it was in the bag, so it was a little uneven, so it's got some strangeness to it, but that's I'm okay with that. I want it to look old anyway. Yeah. But it's definitely darker than it was. I'm going to give it a more significant coating this time to sort of even it out a little bit. Yeah. And not put the plastic directly on it this time. And I did see some green on there in a couple of places. And so we that, may actually be able to get some green. And that's what we're going for? Well, I'd like to get at least down to the brown color, away from salmon anyway. All right, Whisker. All right, second check in here Let's see what we got okay the patterns are different with that round because the bag touched it differently yeah what do you think interesting it's starting to get green here yeah see? yeah i don't know if it'll stay though looks like it's gonna rub off okay I'll try not to rub off the green that's there, and we'll leave it for another round. 
I got time for one more round today, and then we'll rinse it to neutralize it. Oh, you won't let it go overnight? No, because I don't want it to erode any of the copper away. But I will charge it again with some of the solution. It's definitely darker than it was when we checked it the first time around. So it's doing stuff. And it's already starting to look pretty old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd like it to be less red though. And as we've shown with the uh, this guy here, this little test piece and stronger solution, it can get rid of the red. Mm -hmm. If it's got a, enough time, it'll actually turn it brown. Mm -hmm. And that'll match the case a little bit better. So we could just stick it in that stronger solution though, right? I don't want to erode, I don't want to dissolve the copper. Well, it doesn't look bad dissolved on that one. But that acid is fairly strong, so I don't want to risk it. I've put enough time into this that I want to be gentle. Mm -hmm. And this can take a week, you know, it doesn't really matter. All right, this time I'm going to leave the bag not touching anything. For reals. Whoa. The air got to it. The air got to it. <laughs> oh crap! What? What? Which one is that one from? Castaway. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's what happens when we leave it open. Oh my gosh. Oxygen gets right in there. It goes green. Man, I really hope the graphite works as a mask. <laughs> Cause. green powder on there. Unfortunately it's probably all just gonna rinse right off. Yeah, that's what I think it will do. As suspected. You want a brush or something? of it down. I don't want to brush too much because I don't want to take the pencil off just yet. Mm -hmm. Get it all neutralized so I know it'll be safe overnight without mm -hmm. changing too much. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty cool so far. Alright, so now we can dry this off and set it in place and see what it's looking like against the case at this point. Kinda cool, man. Yeah, it needs to be darker yet. Yep. I don't know. I Looking mean, pretty neat with the lines in place, though. The funky, the funkiness is growing on me. Yeah. And when you get the the knobs in place and the jack in place, it's gonna break it up even more. So we've got the, the stuff on there. And, uh, you can see the dots. Uh, the camera doesn't see them as well as we can, but uh, yeah, they're definitely on there. Show some of the detail up here. Muscles. Yeah. Got the chin coming across. Yeah.
A little bit of zombie in everybody. Even the, uh... <laughs> even Philco here. Yeah. Well, I guess it's appropriate since we're calling it the Tombstone Project. Yeah. Hey, it still's got too much red in it, though. I want to see if I can get more of the red color out. Yeah. Woo! Overnight! It's green. It's green and blue. It's dry. Ugh. Powder. That doesn't look safe at all. Green powder. Yuck. Alright, let's see what we got going on underneath. This is different, too. Whoa, what the hell? It dissolved all the copper. Yeah. The copper is gone. Oh my gosh. That's not good. I don't, we don't want it to dissolve all the That's copper. why I didn't want to leave the other one in overnight. Well, that's two nights worth of full concentration. Yep. All right. Let's see what happens to this one. Scrub a dub dub. Taking a bath. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so some of it's on there decently enough that I could actually probably clear coat over the top of it and keep the green. Do you want the green though? Maybe. Mm -hmm. It's kind of neat. We'll have to see it up against the wood though. See what it looks like. Dude, this stuff is on like hardcore, man. Yep. work on getting it a little cleaner where we want the lines to be really visible. I like the blue. Mm -hmm. Nice blue. Science! Bum, bum, bum. I don't know, I think next time I would like do the whole thing in the muriatic acid, you know? In the in the um, full concentration of it. Alright, I'm gonna dry this off. And we'll uh, go see what it looks like. I don't know, kind of cool, man. Back it up so they can see. Check that out, guys. Distressing. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.